Kazzy Tea Readers, it's Shannon. Today I have a quite large and honest book unhaul. I'm going to be showing you all the books that I've recently gone through my bookshelves and decided to unhaul, get rid of, donate, give away. I just either won't read them, have already read them and don't want to keep them, or I think that covers most of it, but um, if there's any particular reason otherwise, I'll tell you. There are almost 50. I announced like that I was going to be unhauling books on Instagram and Twitter, and I got a couple questions about whether I was going to be giving any away, and not this time around. I'm not going to be doing that. I actually, one of my friends has already claimed a bunch of them, and um, I'm going to donate the rest. Some of them might be a shock, some of them maybe not. Just let me know what you think in the comments down below afterwards. Oh, let's get started. The first three books I am going getting rid of sounds so harsh doesn't it I don't know I'm not getting rid of it just sounds mean I'm unhauling I'll just say unhauling okay <laughs> the defiance trilogy uh, the first one is defiance the second one is a deception and the third one is deliverance and these are all by CJ Redwine I read the first book defiance and it was fine I didn't hate it but I don't want to really continue with the trilogy so I am unhauling these oh God, where to put them? The next book I have to unhaul is Paper or Plastic by V.V. Barnes. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I know a, a ton of people love this, but I don't really have any interest in reading it, so I'm unhauling it. How Not to Fall in Love by Lisa Brown Roberts. And then I have the first two books in the High Society series. I think it's a series by Allie Carter, so High Society and Uncommon Criminals. I've held on to these for a really long time, but I'm just, I'm, I'm never going to get to them, so... You know. Next book I have is a little odd. It's Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. I have read Miss Peregrine's Home for the Peculiar Children, the first book in this trilogy. I have no interest in reading this book or the third book, which I know is weird, and I'm not unhauling Miss Peregrine's because I just like having it on my shelf. It's such a cool book. That's my reasoning behind this. I don't really get it either, but... <laughs> the next book is The Beautiful Ashes by Janine Frost. This is actually an arc. A lot of the books that I'm unhauling today are arcs from uh, BEA or BookCon earlier last year whoa may 2015 so this is one of those carrier of the mark by lee fallon this takes place in ireland and i was like oh my god i want it and i just don't think i'll ever get to it and it's not intriguing enough to me for me to pick it up um or really want to pick it up anytime soon whoop there they go they all fell. The next book is The Body Finder by, oh gosh, um, Kimberly Durding. Uh, this I've had forever. The next one I have is The Jewel by Amy Ewing. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I'm never gonna read this. I've had it forever. I've seen the movie. I just, and I loved the movie, but with all the mixed reviews about this and having already seen the movie and knowing the story, I'm just not gonna get to it. Jane's Melody by Ryan Winfield. Winger by Andrew Smith. Talon by Julie Kagawa. This one is actually signed. This was hard for me to part with, but I'm never going to read it again, and I really want to be able to put piles of books that are not on my shelf already, because I don't have space. I want to be able to put them on my shelf, so that's got to go. Next two are Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake. I really did enjoy the first book in this duology, um, but I don't think I'm going to read this one, and they have little, oh, this one's supposed to have one, a little tab on it, because I have a friend that I know will really enjoy them, so I'm going to give these to her. The next two books are Sarah Dessen books. The first is Lock and Key, and the second one is Just Listen. I have a third one in this pile, too, that's coming up. It's just got all out of order. I had four of her books, and I kept one, which is Keeping the Moon, which is my favorite of all of her books, but I just, I don't really feel the need to keep these ones. The next book is I, Coriander by Sally Garden. I... Oh no, not Garden. Gardener. I haven't read this since I was really young and I don't remember anything about it and I don't really have any nostalgic feelings to reread it. So this is also going. Megan Mead's Guide to the McGowan Boys by Kate Bryan. Boomerang by Noelle August. Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. The Phil and Boyfriend by Casey West. The next two books are Hourglass and Timepiece by Myra McIntyre. I read these a while ago. There is a third in the trilogy. Um, and the covers are gorgeous, and that's why I haven't unhauled them yet, because I've literally been thinking about unhauling them for probably a year, but I haven't because I love the cover so much. I've had plenty of opportunities to buy the third book, and I've never felt the need to, so they're going. The beautiful covers. Next book I have is Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove, and then the other Sarah Dessen book, This Lullaby. Next book I have is Invisible. This is book two in the Twix trilogy by Don Metcalf. I'm just never going to read it, and I don't have book one, so. It's a Million Miles Away by Lara Avery. Uh, I remember everybody at BEA got this and everybody was so excited to read it because it's angsty and it's contemporary, but angst is not my thing, so <laughs> this is going in the unhaul pile as well. Unremembered by Jessica Brody. Anomaly by Tanya Cooper. What We Saw by Aaron Hartzler. 
Aaron Hartzler. Naked by S <laughs> Casey Trombley. Zeros by Scott Westerfeld. A Step Toward Falling by Cammie McGovern. Modern Monsters by Kelly York. The Body Institute by Carol Riggs. Lies We Tell Ourselves by Robin Talley. Mozart's Last Aria by Matt Reese. I love this cover too and I'm kind of bummed about parting with it, but it's okay. <laughs> I got him. Curiosity House, The Shrunken Head by Lauren Oliver and H.C. Chester. And then the last book is probably going to be a shocker, but it's The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey. I just, I don't want it. I should have known because I, my first year of booktube, I gave my original copy of The Fifth Wave away. I did a giveaway. I think it was like for maybe a thousand subscribers. I don't know what it was. And then I bought it again. I was like, oh, why did I, you know, it's like, I gave it away. I want it. And then I never, why, why did I buy it again? I don't know. That was my quite large, honest, and quite unorganized book unhaul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you're angry about or what you're shocked about or what you're excited about that I'm unhauling down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.